ओके चैप्टर वन इन्वेस्टमेंट वर्सेज स्पेकुलेशन इन्वेस्टमेंट इज समथिंग दैट प्रोमिस सेफ्टी ऑफ प्रिंसिपल एंड एन एडुकेट रिटर्न एवरीथिंग एल्स इज स्पेकुलेशन वेन एवर पीपल ट्रेड ब्रोकरस मेक मनी वेदर पीपल डिड और नॉट एंड इट इज सेट दैट पीपल हु इन्वेस्ट मेक मनी फॉर देम सेल्स एंड पीपल हु स्पेकुलेट मेक मनी फॉर देयर ब्रोकरस सो नाउ दैट यू नो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड स्पेकुलेशन ग्राम सेज यू शुड ऑल्सो नो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन इंटेलिजेंट एंड अन इंटेलिजेंट स्पेकुलेशन अन इंटेलिजेंट स्पेकुलेशन speculating when you think you are investing speculating seriously instead of a past time when you lack the proper knowledge and skill for it and risking more money in speculation than you can afford to lose now how can we do intelligent speculation so graham recommends number 1 designate a tiny portion of your portfolio as a mad money account 10% of total investment is maximum permissible second never put more than 10% in your mad money account no matter what happens even if the market goes up you should not put more money in that account it would be better if you sell that and bring it back to 10% number 3 never mingle investment account with speculative account number 4 never allow your speculative thinking to spill over into your investing activities finally try to confine and restrain speculating you can do it but under control future of security prices is never predictable since you cannot predict the behavior of markets you must learn how to predict and control your own behavior so now let's move on to chapter 2 investor and inflation so in this chapter graham talks about gold as an inflation hedge he said that it can't work always avoid investing directly in gold seek out a well diversified mutual fund specializing in stocks of precious metal companies and charging very low annual expenses and limit the stake to 2% then it talks about real estate as an inflation hedge it is said that as inflation increases you can increase rents and the price of land also increases with inflation but serious errors can be made in location and price paid etc so you should not directly invest in real estate because it requires a huge amount of capital and you can make mistake it needs experience so instead of that you can invest in reits reits are stocks of companies which invest in real estate these are safer and you won't have to make so big investments second option is tips treasury inflation protected securities with inflation the interest amount or the principal amount or both increase with inflation for these securities so they are a good inflation hedge and graham recommends allocate at least 10% of your retirement assets to tips that's it for this chapter chapter 3 century of stock market history intelligent investor must never forecast the future exclusively by extrapolating the past everybody makes the same mistake so is the market risky simply because the prices are higher today than a year ago most of us will say what is price have to do with risk but graham says they are risky because of higher prices today and you'll be punished if you think they're not intelligent investor ask simple questions like why should future returns of a stock be same as past returns If every investor believes that stocks are guaranteed to make more money in the long run then wouldn't the market be overpriced the value of any investment is always a function of the price you pay for it it is never justifiable that stocks are worth buying at any price as profits that companies can earn are finite the price that investors should be willing to pay must also be finite for example jordan was paid 34 million dollars a year as he attracted people it would be unjustifiable to pay him 3.4 billion or 34 billion per year so everybody has a price buy low and sell high is a simple rule that everybody knows but end up getting backwards the more enthusiastic investors become about stock market in the long run the more certain they are proved wrong in the short run the experts have always been proved badly wrong whenever they agreed on something then why should the intelligent investor believe them the only thing you can be sure of while forecasting future stock returns is that you'll probably turn out to be wrong only thing that past teaches us is that the future will always surprise us always so you should stay humble about your forecasting powers market will surprise the very people who are most certain that their views about future are right so as somebody has said blessed is he who expects nothing for he shall enjoy everything